I found this rusted bolt that they dropped out there. Welcome to Ban Han Leak, which translates to the House of Steel Robots. And I came here because I heard there's a very special piece of automotive artwork that I must see before it leaves the country of Thailand. How much? 65. Thank you, couple guy. Look at this, this is nuts. Look at the suspension. It's a brake rotor. That looks like a motorcycle engine. This stuff is nuts. Basically what this place is, is just a massive display of scrap metal artwork from Thai artists throughout the entire country. And I think you can even buy some of this stuff. To put this into perspective, I'm 194 centimeters, AKA six foot four. And these things are like towering over me by at least a foot. Dude, check this out. Holy crap. Look at this. Nuts and bolts, and it's just pieces of metal. Gears. That's metal, not wood. It looks like wood, but it's actually metal. I don't know if I'm gonna fit or not. I fit, just not comfortably. Oh, that's not normal. That's it. <laughs> Shit. I missed fifth gear. Don't tell anyone. It's embarrassing. That totally mind fucked me right now. Here's another car, same style, but for some reason it has Spider-Man lounging on the hood of it. It's a metal woolly mammoth. You want one? Come here to Ban Han Leak. Grab you one. I wonder if you can take that and uh, your check luggage back to America. Paint me like your French girl. Holy crap. Look at this. It's like I hear metal work going on. Let me see if I can actually get into the shop and see if I can witness some of these being made. <laughs> Workshop? Ah, okay. okay. I pulled my go-to I'm a famous YouTuber line and I got hooked up. Look at all this scrap metal. Look at all of that. Wow. They're building another car. What is this, guys? What does this look like? I thought it was a Datsun at first. Check out the engine. and talent in this building, in the shop, on this premises is just, I'm speechless. I cannot believe it took me so many years to come here. If you come to Thailand and you like fabrication and automotive type of stuff, bucket list shit right here, guys, bucket list shit. It's two hours from Bangkok, 100% worth it, 100% worth it. I'm not sure if you understand how massive this is. Look at this. This is a real tire. That's the size of a real tire. This is a real Volkswagen Beetle up there. That is insane, dude. Holy shit. Wait, that's a Beetle. That's a Beetle. That's a Beetle. Those are other cars. Is that a tractor? I think this is a tractor. I'm blown away, I'm blown away. This is nuts. There it is, that's it. 
this is it. This is what I came here to see, the Bugatti Veyron metal artwork thing. It does not run, but it's just ins Look at that. Is that not sick? One of my Thai friends told me this was commissioned to be built here, and it's actually being shipped to a garage in Sweden. So I had to get here and see it before it left the country. Uh, is it just me, or does that say Datsun? Did the doors open? No, there's a screw there. Look at the interior. Look at how all of this is built. They even put an engine in it, or what looks like an engine. Blown away, blown away. And what's even crazier, there's not one, there's actually two of them here. Check out the door on this one. Oh, this one opens. What? And not only do they have two Bugattis, they also have a Mercedes AMG GT. Check that thing out. Dude, this place is like heaven on earth. If you just love metal and art and craftsmanship and automotive stuff. And I, I cannot believe it took me so many years to come here. Man, if you come to Thailand, you dig that type of stuff, bucket list for sure. I was so overwhelmed by the Bugatti and the other Bugatti and then the AMG Mercedes that I totally missed that giant massive thing right there. The Bugatti is life-size, like it's a life-sized replica, you know, not exact replica, but close enough. So put that into perspective, use that for scale so you truly understand the scale of that transformer. That's nuts, man. That is crazy. Look at the detail just in the foot. Suspension pieces here, gear set there, more gears here. This is like a suspension arm. Is that a clutch? Is that a legit clutch out of like a, a big rig or something? More suspension components. Look at all the detail in this. <laughs> Look at what it says on the transformer. Wonder what's up with the stairs. I guess only one way to find out. I guess it's just a viewpoint so you can kind of see all the sculptures in one place and really grasp the scale of them. Especially when you have people walking down here, it just, it puts everything into perspective, just how massive these sculptures are. Look at what they have inside their coffee shop. This is all chocolate. I'm not even joking. Look at the bolts. That is chocolate. Can I have ice cappuccino? Ice. ice cappuccino and bolt. I got a chocolate bolt. And for those wondering about the cost of the statues, I was told they didn't want to quote an exact price, but from what I got, you could get a pretty much life-size statue for as little as 100,000 baht, and the larger ones, including the cars and the massive ones out in the courtyard, can be a million plus baht. But really, for that price, it's still pretty cheap. I found this rusted bolt that they dropped out there. Mm. 